Hey, this is Jay from Encodian. So today we're going to look at, um, well actually it'll be a couple of Encodian actions, but we're mainly focused on the concatenate text action, which will accept an array of values um, and form them into a single string. Um, to do that, we have a scenario we're going to run through. So I've got SharePoint document library here that I'm going to add files to. And what we want to do is look inside the files and find any URLs that are contained within it. Um, and then we want to concatenate them into a single string and then add them into this column here. So um, as I said, that's actually going to use two utility actions because we're going to use the extract URLs from text action and primarily the focus of this one being the concatenate text as well. So I have a flow here that's tied to this library that's going to fire when a new file gets opened and we're going to add some actions in so that we can get the text out of the document, extract the URLs, concatenate them to a single value and then we're going to update the file properties to pop that URL value in here. So first things first, what we're going to do, um, let's bring up the encoding connector and I'm going to search for an action called get PDF text. Um, there we go. Now what this will simply do, it will look at the text layer inside a given document and it will extract it. Now in a real world scenario, you might need to put some extra handling in here to say, check that the file is a PDF by checking the extension and then only run it. If it's not a PDF, uh, what you could do is convert it, so use the convert to PDF action uh, and then extract the text layer, which means that effectively you could get the text out of any type of document pretty much. Uh, but for simple purposes, we'll just add the action in directly. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to extract the URLs. So let's just see if we can bring that up with search straight away. Um, no. So what we'll do is we'll just select the encoding connector, click see more, see more and see more. Uh, all the utility actions are prefixed with utility hyphen, so I know I'll find them down there. There we go, extract URLs from text. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pass the text layer property returned by the get PDF text layer action, which is basically the text inside the document, and I'm gonna send that to this extract URLs from text. It's basically doing a regex extraction, so if you need to tweak the regex, you can, you can do that here, uh, but that regex should be pretty accurate. Um, Next, what we'll do is the, the focus of this video, if you would, um, is we're going to do the concatenation of the, of the URLs extracted from the document. So this action will return um, an array of URLs, so one or more. And what we want to do is, is, is join them or concat concatenate them even to a single value. So let me just, again, I'll just scroll to the bottom because it's easier and I will find concatenate text. Now, you can manually add these in. <clears throat> so what the concatenate text action is doing is accepting an array of values. So really simply, I can just change it to an array input and I can select the result property, which is the result of extract URLs. Now that I know is an array because it's one or more URLs extracted. I can pop that straight in. Um, and then what I can do is I have this option here of putting a delimiter in. So for each URL contained in that result, I can say, well, actually put a comma and then a space. And so as they get joined, they, that delimiter will be, will be added in for each item that is joined together. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file properties and I'm just going to drop in the result from the concatenate text action, uh, which is there, which will be those concatenated URLs. Now, all I need to do now is test this uh, and we should see that all fall into action. So I'm just going to put this into test and I'll test it manually. And then I'm going to drop a file in that I know contains some URL so I can, I can open this up whilst we're looking at it. So here is the document. Now if I just scroll up, you can see that some URLs contained within the text within this file that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to drop into the library. So let's just go into here and I can pick up that library and I'll just drop it straight in, which should trigger our flow. So let's go back over here. There we go, that's run through, so nice and quick there. And we can see that those properties have been updated. So if I look at the concat text, you can see there's the array of values that have been extracted with the URLs. That's the delimiter. And I can see in the result property that those have been nicely concatenated together, which is great. So I should, if I look in the SharePoint library, see those uh, URLs added, which I can, and I can see that in a bit more detail here as well. 
So if I scroll down, you'll see those values nicely concatenated together, concatenated together even there. Okay, hopefully that gives you a good example. How we've got a few encoding actions being used there, but hopefully that gives you a good view of how you can concatenate uh, uh, multiple text values or an array of text values into a single string. Um, as ever, if you have any questions, please email us at support at encoding.com or you can come visit the uh, support portal at support.encoding.com.